But we have a GMA health alert for you now. It's a new study that says size does matter when it comes to heart disease, challenging the theory that people who are overweight can still be considered healthy. And Dr. Jen Ashton is here with right. that. So what, what does this study well, say? So it's really about this controversy that there are overweight and obese people with normal numbers, as we mm -hmm. say. So normal blood pressure, normal cholesterol, non-diabetic. And th this study really looked at people over about a 12-year follow-up period and found that even those with these normal numbers were at increased risk for heart disease down the road. So again, it's a reminder that you can look healthy by number right now on paper, but down the road, the risks of that overweight and obesity really do matter. Let's talk about some of these numbers that are considered risk factors. Uh, BMI, your body right. mass index. So a lot of people have heard of this. It's not a perfect measure. People like Michael Strahan might be considered obese because it doesn't take into account lean muscle mass. Mm -hmm. You can go online, find out how to calculate it based on your height and weight. But if you take a look at this chart, there's a range from underweight to overweight and obese. And we should mention it can be just as unhealthy to be in the underweight BMI as it can be to be overweight and mm -hmm. obese. So that's an important number. The other one, you see me holding I this, know. Robin. Weight circumference. It's not probably not really used really enough. <laughs> I'm going to take one for the team. Okay. But very simple. Um, there's different numbers for men and women. You want to mm -hmm. stand up, find your belly button, exhale. Don't do this after a big meal. Mm -hmm. And then find out what your number is. For women, it should be less than 32 inches approximately. For mm -hmm. men, less than 37 inches. That's a measure of that dangerous belly fat that we mm -hmm. talk so much about that wraps right, around right. our organs. Thanks for taking one for the team there. Appreciate Thank that. You. <laughs> Cholesterol is considered another factor. Yeah, now this study actually looked at the good cholesterol, the HDL. We hear a lot about bad cholesterol. There are some things that we can do to raise this good cholesterol number. Low-carb diet have been associated with increasing that number. Exercise, being active, some medications will also increase it. But a low HDL is mm -hmm. an independent risk factor for future heart disease. So again, we should mention you can be underweight, you can be slim, and have a bad HDL. So this is yeah. a complicated issue. Uh, the medical community is at yeah. fault here too. We have a to bit. lead. We have to lead the pack. We have to help treat chronic overweight and obesity, or we'll be dealing with the future consequences. All right, Jen. All right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.